Hi, this is JulieWaldorf.com, and I have Susie here, who is with the Hemp Center in Old Colorado City. So Susie, what made you get into the business of selling hemp? Selling hemp? Yeah. Uh, I have been in the hemp business for as long as I can remember from college. I uh -huh. wear it. Uh -huh. um, you okay. can weave it. Uh -huh. uh, where I grew up, they uh -huh. used to uh, weave it for the airlines. Uh -huh. Aircraft carriers to catch uh -huh. the planes. So hemp has been around for a long time. Uh -huh. It's a renewable source, and that's the biggest reason. Okay, and what about the smoking of the marijuana? What made you get into selling marijuana? Well, marijuana is a little bit different than hemp. Hemp <laughs> is non-psychoactive, okay. and what we call marijuana, or really what the name is, cannabis. Okay. Um, there's two kinds, an indica and a sativa. Basically, that is the psychoactive aspect of the THC. That's what those produce. Hemp otherwise has, I think, under 1% or less to be able to be legal in the states. Okay. So um, basically economics and always wanting to do it since I was young. Yeah, so you obviously believe in marijuana. Yes. Okay, and so do I, by the way. <laughs> and um, so what do you find the people benefit the most when they smoke marijuana, the people that you, you your well, clients Well, smoking, like there's a lot of different delivery systems besides smoking. Okay. Um, as a nurse, I'm a firm advocate, if you don't smoke, please don't start. Okay. Um, you can vaporize, there's edibles, there's tinctures, uh -huh. there's capsules, uh -huh. there's numerous different delivery systems that one can use to um, usually access for pain, uh -huh. spasms, uh -huh. uh, things like that. Most of my patients are on the medical end, which they mm -hmm. are, right. um, MS, a lot of autoimmune diseases, mm -hmm. um, some very rare uh, connective tissues diseases. Mm -hmm. I've had some that's had heart attacks, mm -hmm. some who are fighting cancer. Mm -hmm. um, basically, cannabis will do 20, 30 different things if you direct the synergy correctly. Okay, well, great, and, and that's what we need. You know, that's and it's, it's something that people don't get the side effects as they would on pharmaceuticals. Yes, yeah. most side effects yeah. in the herbal world is either nausea, you could throw up, maybe have a little di diarrhea, mm -hmm. and if that's the case, back down the dose. Mm -hmm. And you want to sleep and eat, from what I know. <laughs> If you smoke enough, yes. If you yeah. smoke enough indica, you'll want to sleep. It is good for very bad insomnia. It does work quite well with people with sleeping issues. Okay, because um, half the country has mm -hmm. sleeping issues, by the way. Yes, okay. you can <laughs> sleeping pills if you use it correctly. Uh -huh. um, also, the sativas is more uplifting. Mm -hmm. It's more for people, I would say, who um, are depressive. Yeah, and that's need it. They're half the country. Bit. Someone okay. who needs to focus. Uh -huh. Anxiety-wise, you need to kind of stay away from that. Maybe go into a hybrid. Uh -huh. um, a 70, 30, maybe something to stay away because you don't want it to give you anxiety. Okay, so say, um, do you have to have a medical card at this point? You yes. do, don't you? Yes. Here um, in Colorado Springs, mm -hmm. we do not have recreational mar uh, marijuana. Okay. Um, that was decided by your city council, mm -hmm. and they decided they didn't want it, even though it was voted to mm -hmm. have recreational here. Okay. So we are in the medical end. Okay. And... Um, and what, good. So to get a medical card, you go to a doctor? You can either go to your doctor if uh -huh. he will agree to write the application, fill it out. Uh -huh. um, or you can go to a medical marijuana doctor. Mm -hmm. I use Vibrant Healthcare. Okay. Um, they are very professional. She mm -hmm. was an expert witness. One of the doctors up there was for us at the state. Great. Uh, very knowledgeable. Uh -huh. She All went right. to Stanford. All right, she well, knows. cool. She knows her stuff. Yes, she does. She was in pharmaceutical research. Okay, so. so where are you located? So if people want to come on in and I'm learn, at two learn five, and know and buy, they can come over to you. I'm <laughs> at 2501 West Colorado Avenue in, in Old Colorado City here in Colorado Springs. And can they give you a call, too? Sure. What's your phone number? 719-633-1611. Uh, so okay, that's all right. <laughs> all right, thank you so much. Uh -huh. Thanks for um, enlightening all of us. No problem. All right, ciao, ciao. Mm -hmm.